What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today. We're making a Mario Kart video. I honestly was about to make a video on Mario vs Donkey Kong or Paper Mario Thousand Door or something like that, but I think I'd rather wait for that when the time is right. I don't know, I just kind of like talking about Mario Kart. Can you blame me for not making videos on something that my favorite characters are never usually in? Okay, besides Mario vs Donkey Kong, but you get my point. Anyway, uh, we got revealed of Way 6 in the last Nintendo Direct. And it kind of blew my expectations a little bit that we might be getting... Can this wave actually end on a bang? There's a good chance that we'll do that. Let's talk about it. So, of course, we got the announcement of a track that I don't think... I didn't even put in my predictions. Daisy Circuit. I honestly was predicting this, maybe, or Rosalie's Ice World. Something kind of shocking. And since they didn't really add any other 3S courses, but it looks like we're not getting that. But, the Daisy Circuit is still a nice course, so I can't really complain over it, so, yeah, but, of course, we also got the announcement of, not two characters, but four of them! I, I, that video really aged poorly, because I did not expect Nintendo to actually do this. Nintendo is the king of unexpected, I guess, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Um, we got Diddy Kong, of course, we got Funky Kong back, and we got Pauline, my three most wanted characters made it in, let's go! Um, and there's Peachette. No one gives a- no one gives a shit about her. <laughs> but, yeah, we got four characters. So, um, here's a real question with the characters. How will the roster get organized? That's the bit. that's a big question, honestly, because we do not know that. Um, so, it really depending on how this will go. I feel like it will get organized maybe a little bit. Some people predict that D Peachette and, uh, Funky Kong will be alts. For Donkey Kong, or and Peach, or and or Toadettes. To be honest, I don't think that will work well. To be honest, Funky and DK are kind of different characters, and Funky has different animations. And and all the alts. Okay, I am not kept up with this Mario Kart stuff. I feel like most of the characters do have alts, and I feel like if they were gonna make certain characters alts, I think the more likely characters will be the Inklings and the Animal Crossing characters, which. They've already done that in the original Mario Kart 8, so they can easily just do that again, honestly. So, that's what I predict will happen. So, yeah, that's how the roster, I think, will organize. And, I do, and Copia Vote, maybe they'll just add another row with, with four more characters. That's not gonna happen, but let me dream. <laughs> I wouldn't really care what other characters get added, but that's just something to think about, so. Yeah, but, don't get your hopes up for that to happen. Alright, now let's talk about the courses. So we know one course, Daisy Circuit. What could be the other seven courses getting added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Wave 6 of the Booster Course Pass. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go ahead and predict. So, I'm gonna still predict the tour courses first. Mandrift Drive. Man Mandrift Drive, that tour course. I, I think that's the name of it. Um, that basically is the final tour course added. So... It's a little on- it seems way too basic for my liking of these tour courses. Maybe I've just been playing way too many tour city courses. Aside from like Singapore Speedway, Sydney Sprint, Vancouver Velocity, maybe Berlin Byways I can actually have a fun time with. Well, I don't know, the others just kind of don't vibe with me. Eh, I don't know. Regardless, we're gonna get this one. We gotta get a tour city course in there somewhere. Okay, now, what about the others? Uh, we got two Prawn Plant courses. Prawn Plant Cove. And Prawn Plant Pipeline. We're really gonna get two plant courses in this wave, so yeah, definitely gonna predict these as well. Another tour course is Rome and TV. I can't say that word, but regardless, we're gonna get this Rome course that came with a Donkey Kong alt. Um, so we're definitely gonna get this one in there, honestly, because like I don't know, I don't know what other tour courses they can add. They gotta keep adding the tour courses. So yeah, okay. And now, this is where things get a little tricky. So I predicted three tour courses and then Daisy Circuits. Yeah, I think I'm alright. Um, for a SNES course that still has yet to be added, I really hope it is Bowser Castle 1 and not Mid Lake 1, aka Vanilla Lake 1. Vanilla Lake is a generally terrible course, would not work well in 200cc. I'm really praying it doesn't get added. Like, people have been teasing it because, like, you know, it's been advertised in several Mario Kart courses. I don't think advertisement should mean a course is coming. Uh, Sunshine Airport has an advertisement of Koopa Beach, and we don't even have it in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I get that's a base game course compared to a DLC, 
You get my fucking points. Don't think advertisements are a way of hinting courses. So, yeah. But I do believe we'll get... I hope it's Bowser Castle, because we don't even have a single Bowser Castle in the wave, honestly. And this is the perfect time to add one, to add one honestly. I'd rather bring back Wii or Dull Dash, but... Considering the update and Mark Tour, hopefully it, it can actually be a fun time. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, um... This is where things got a little tricky. I'm still thinking... Some people think Daisy Circuit might be replaced with uh, Rainbow Road from Mario Kart Wii. I don't think we should jump to that conclusion yet. Because I can't... Besides maybe... I don't know, Bowser's Castle. What other course could they say for the very last, honestly? Wii Rainbow Road is just so fitting. I'd rather bring my Double Dash because, like... That one has a return and I think the music would be amazing. But I know a lot of people really love Wii, so... I wouldn't really blame y'all, but I think Wii's Rainbow Road is still safe, so let's not jump to the conclusion that it's completely out yet. Alright, and now we have one last course to talk about, and that is the GameCube courses. Because I predicted the day circuit, Mandrift, two plant courses, and then Rome, Bowser's Castle, Rainbow Road. I think I predicted all of them. Mandrift. Yeah, okay, I did. So yeah, this is the last one, I believe. Unless I miscounted. Uh-oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Mushroom City. This, or Mushroom City? Mushroom Bridge. I get them mixed up. Mushroom Bridge was a course that people have been predicting for the DLC, and people thought that was going to get added. While that think it's still possible to get added, I wouldn't place it as a safe bet. And honestly, it's just freaking move you highway. Just... In the daytime, I feel like would basically be, and we already have some traffic co traffic courses anyway. I say this as I'm about to be hypocritical in the next few seconds, <laughs> but I don't know. I wouldn't. I think Daisy Circuit got replaced from Mushroom Bridge, to be honest. What I think, but of course I could be wrong with the one common debate I see: um, DK Mountain versus Dino Dino Jungle. Which one do I think is more likely to get added? Let's talk about both these courses. Dino Dino Jungle has dinosaurs, has some bridges, and you go inside a little cave section with some, with also that doesn't even have dinosaurs, just one and then another one that flies. So it's a cool course. And then there's one I'm more biased for, which is DK Mountain. You go up the mountain, you go down. It's pretty much like DK Summit, just in the daytime. You're going down the mountain. So which one do I think is more likely? If they want to keep the unique vibe, I think Dino Dino has a better chance. Because it also has been... I wouldn't place advertisements either as a guaranteed lock for Dino Dino. Because, like I said, I don't think advertisements confirm a course because these are these all come from Tor. So they can easily switch things up. But DK Mountain, on their hand, I prefer them adding that course for bias. I can totally understand if it's just Summit again, but not like we already get circuit courses every way. So what's the problem with getting two DK Mountain-based courses? Or just too many Donkey Kong courses in general. Like, I don't even understand that. <laughs> so, yeah. But I do believe we'll get one of these courses in the game. Watch we don't get either of these, and this debate was for nothing. <laughs> but I'm mostly praying for DK Mountain, but I'm keeping my expectations low that I think Dino Dino's a little more likely if they want to be a little unique. But regardless, whatever happens in Wave 6, I think it's going to end on a bang and shock us big time. So, I cannot wait for Wave 6, honestly. So, thanks for watching, everyone. What Mario Kart tracks do you hope gets added in the final wave? Y'all have one final chance to get your most wanted track in the game. I don't need to worry because I already got DK Summit. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more. Later, folks. Oh yeah, um, one wish that I don't see happening, unfortunately, is adding some battle courses to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I know people aren't really into battle mode nowadays, unless it's 64... DS, maybe Double Dash, those are the only bow modes I hear people talk about, at least. But, I don't know, like, only 8 bow courses in Mario Kart Lost is kind of crazy, so why not add more of them to the game? I don't think this is going to happen, honestly, because bow mode seems like that mode that not really people care about nowadays. I mean, man, we could have been the best, but it forced the teams, are you serious? But, besides that, yeah. Bring back Funky Stadium, though! <laughs>